Okay, people, here we go. So I was trying to learn Docker, and I kept running into problems. Things wouldn't build. Finally, I had a situation where I absolutely had to learn it to get a project done, and so I had to come and solve these problems that I, I kept having. Um, I would download or clone the repo and try to build the image and it, it just or the container, I guess, and it just wouldn't go. Uh, I kept getting errors. I was trying to track down a solution, couldn't find it. Finally figured it out, okay? You see the solution here, but we're gonna, I'm gonna walk you through the whole thing. Um, so here we go. We are just gonna go on the desktop here. Um, I have a, we're gonna open a terminal. I use the git, the bash uh, shell that comes with git with no real modifications or anything. Maybe I changed some of the colors, I'm not sure. Uh, but there's nothing fancy going on here. I'm going to, uh, Whoops, that's not the right one. We'll get to that later. Um, let me find the repo that I'm supposed to be downloading from. Sorry about that. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna clone the repo. This might take a minute. You should probably just skip ahead a few seconds because I'm not going to edit this video. <laughs> or maybe I just should get some faster internet. At any rate, you're probably best to just hit that right arrow a couple times. Okay, so there it goes. And so then we're gonna CD into that directory. And what my instructions are to build this, it says, this is in the readme file. It says, this is what you do. They tried to make it easy for me. Um, it says, this is the command you're supposed to run to build the container. Ah, okay, so here's the problem. Failed to solve, executor failed, exit code 127, um, bunch of stuff going on here. Let me make this, uh, maybe I should make this a little bigger for y'all. Can I do that? I know this will mess me up. Sorry, I should have done this before I started my video, but that's okay. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So. Exit code, ultimately is an exit code 127 failed to build, so it doesn't work. So after searching around for quite a while, I found this solution. If you run this command, uh, well, here, let me explain what's going on before we run the command. Apparently, when you have um, Windows versus Linux or Unix, um, line endings are um, there's a character, the, the backslash N, right, or something like that, that makes the new line. Like, you don't see that in your editor, but, like, under the hood, there's, there's line breaks. Like, but in Windows, it's different. It's not just a slash N. There's, like, a slash R or something like that, slash R slash N. And so Docker apparently doesn't seem to understand this. So what you're going to do is run this command um, right here. And this is going to change. So I don't, I don't know if you've ever had this. When you're cloning a repo uh, that was somebody else's repo that maybe started in a Linux or Unix type of thing, and you go to um, save it or commit in Git, and it says changing line endings or something like that. And I always ignored that because it didn't seem to matter, and everything seems to work. In this case, with Docker, it doesn't seem to work. So it has to do something with the line endings. So we're changing the, instead of, uh, it'll, it'll say something like automatically changing, right? Something like that, if you've seen those stages before. So we're gonna change it to not automatically change them. That's what this is gonna do. So we're gonna do that. Um, I think this command isn't gonna work still. I think what we have to do is re-clone uh, it. Yeah, so it's still getting the same thing. So I'm gonna have to go 
and get rid of this and reclone it, but it should work this time. So let's go back here to my clone. I'm going to try it again, and we're going to wait for it to download again. Tap that right arrow a few times to skip through YouTube here a bit. Okay, so there it is again. We're gonna change directory into that thing, and then we're gonna try to the build, find the build command. Here's the Docker build command, and let's see what happens this time. Done, done, done. Running. There we go. So now, if I go to um, my Docker desktop, it should be in there. Let's see. Come on, Docker, here we go. And there it is, the GHP charity website. It's open and it's running, no problem. Pretty cool, so we'll get rid of that. Now, let's say for some reason you need to change this behavior back. Um, also pretty simple, this is the command we did. If you need to change it back, all you need to do change that to a true and it will be back to the way it was um, i hope this video is helpful it sure took me a while to figure this out and uh, get going with docker i guess well, the truth is for this website i thought it was kind of overkill but someone else set it up for me and it gave me a reason to at least get my hands a little bit dirty with docker which was pretty cool all right hope this helps thanks people and we'll see you another time. Thanks again.